Guys, look. It's purple. Purple is my favorite color. Welcome to Kennywood. So Kennywood's done a lot of refreshing this year and it starts right here at the front entrance. Look at this bright yellow, the green with the brick. It looks so good. You can just tell that this is brand new. I mean, that carousel horse is looking so good. And obviously, the purple paint on Phantom's Revenge. I've heard Jackrabbit and Thunderbolt are also looking really fresh. This is gonna be great. We're here with Reese. It's your first visit Hello. here. First visit here. Excited what are you, to be here. What are you most excited for? I'm excited for Jackrabbit because everybody says that's really good. I'm excited for Phantom's Revenge, but I've never ridden anything. I'm excited for the old mill to ride with Taylor. Stop. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Shout out to Defunct Land. Guys, make sure you subscribe to um, Reese's channel, oh. Reese Eats Chili. He's repping, repping Skyline Chili. At, at Reese Eats Chili on Instagram. <laughs> That's not, not a real page. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a page though. <laughs> Check this out, we got Steelers colors and all of this really cool artwork and design coming into the tunnel that goes underneath the road. This is awesome. This park like really spruced things up this year. Yeah, very, uh, I'm getting the Steelers vibe here. Did you know he's actually a partial owner of the Steelers? Really? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. He's like the most interesting man in the world. Steelers is a baseball team? First up, it's not Skyrocket, it's the old mill. All right, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Come on. Shout out to Defunct's Land and our favorite video ever. Talking For about- giving us some great ideas. <laughs> Stop talking. It is a hilarious video about Garfield's nightmare. Oh, that's what it was about? I didn't even remember that. <laughs> all right, we conquered the old mill. I had my own row, I was all alone. It's a weird ride. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's like you... black walls and there's no audio. Did you know that Reese was one of the first ever riders on the original Old Mill? That's not true. This is the weirdest ride I've ever been. Look who's back. It's the kangaroo and they gave it an all new look and it is fantastic. It's also got a much bigger queue now because this was a couple of attractions and now they brought this one back. I'm very excited. I just watched it like cycle and I'm like, that just looks like airtime. Airtime, airtime, airtime. It's so fun, it's the weirdest it. ride. Only one of its kind in the world. All right, we just rode the kangaroo, and that is a gem. That is a fantastic a really fun addition. That is such a fun ride. That is a shame that there's only one of them out there, but it's also kind of cool that it is one of a kind. And it looks great, like presentation yes. is fantastic. And I'm gonna make a statement here. You know, I've been, I've been coming here since 2015. <laughs> I think this is the best yeah. Kennywood has ever looked. And we haven't even made it that far into the park. But just like the paint and everything, like we're literally approaching Jackrabbit. Was that and rabbit there looking that nice before? Uh, I doubt it. But like, look, as a fresh coat of paint, new Jackrabbit sign, like, the park looks so good. I am so impressed with this place. Look at these signs. Look at these, like, giant pictures of, like, past attractions. Like, oh, this is so cool. And just to clarify, you know nothing about this, this right? This looks like this is a backyard roller coaster. I hope you have as good of a reaction as I did. <laughs> Jackrabbit looks great. It's riding great. Reese didn't know about the double down. That was wild. That part was really wild. That's the scariest moment on any roller coaster ever, period. You can't convince me otherwise. And that's why you sit in the back. It is insane. And, and the rest of the ride doesn't really do anything. It has but no real lap bar either. The no, it, the lap bar is like a uh, handlebar. Yeah. Very old fashioned. The real restraints the seatbelt. Time for Racer, and I honestly could not tell you the last time I rode this thing. We didn't do it last time we were here. And I don't even think, Sarah, you've done this thing. Oh, I've only been here the one time and we didn't ride it. No, we didn't. Just rode Kennywood's Racer. Uh, pretty tame experience, but I mean, that thing's also... also yeah, yeah, it's a super old attraction. I liked the last drop uh, into the brakes. That gave some free solid yeah. airtime. Um, pretty sure my train won. I Your train did win. Everybody like giving the L's at each other at the end. Yeah. That's like what racing coasters are supposed to be, yeah. and they aren't anymore. Like a yes. King's Dominion, Rebel Yell never races. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we'll just run one side. Yeah, I yeah, know. This one, because it's a Mobius, it has to race every single time, which is awesome. I think. 
wait from this point is 15 minutes. That's gotta be the shortest line for a steel curtain I've ever seen. And it's on one train right now. Wow, that's impressive. All right, everybody say go Brown! Oh my God, how did all this get on me? How'd you like the back row? Um, it was fine, but I think like a midnight green tracked iBox RMC would be a much better theme to the Eagles. Yes. I got very scared on that ride. He really did. <laughs> he was like having a, like a freak out on the way up. I'm like, Fuck. it's been a while. I, I haven't ridden coasters in a while. Like, hey, that was a little extreme. He's like, can we ride the Jackrabbit again? <laughs> hey, yo, did you like your ride on Steel Curtain? How was that ride? You need a one day ticket to come here. You can't just slither on in. I don't know if it's just me, but I was less impressed by the ride. Like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't do much for me. It's a little, it doesn't have a ton of forces. There's not really much air time until the end, but it's just terrifying. It, there's so many inversions back to back. It's just twisted ride. It's not scary though. Jackrabbit is scary. Oh no, see, Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit is my kind of ride. That's a ride that's been operating for a hundred years. That's a ride, I ride is safe. This ride's been open for a year. I don't know who's working at s, &S. I don't know who these people are. I'm sure they're wonderful. <laughs> seen it before so you like get in this cage and then there's like a water squirt gun and you like aim at the fire in the center I've literally never wanted to ride a kid's ride more than I do right now what welcome welcome do come in I've been waiting for you yeah, it's like food blasts, but much more elaborate. What the? There's a turntable on this dark ride? What in the world? I did not remember Ghost to an Estate being that elaborate. It's basically a trackless dark ride. Reese, how did you do? Uh, I got 890, 890. 890? Which was the highest score of all time. They actually gave him a award when he got off. Really? Right? No, he definitely did not come in last place from being so bad at it. Well, my gun was faulty. <laughs> oh, sure it was. was. Through the whale we go. We're on its squishy tongue. What you guys want for dinner? It's on me. We got apples, we got corn, potatoes. To save me uh, we got dogs. If you want a dog? All aboard the ship. Look who it is. It's our friend the ostrich. I wish you hadn't pointed that out, man. Look, he looks so friendly. How is that not terrifying to you? He wants to be your friend. No, he does not. Phantom's Revenge. Now, bright purple. Two repaints right next to each other. Phantom Purple and Thunderbolt sporting that bright white with the red rails. Oh man, yeah, looking shiny. Hey, Reese, do not lean against the entrance gates. No, 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 no. Don't lean against the gates. Don't I'm gonna personally throw. see to that you get ejected from the park. <laughs> you know he got kicked out of like every single park. Wow. Every single one of them. You don't want to know what uh, he did at Fiesta, that one. Phantom's Revenge! How is that speed machine? That was an amazing ride. That's the best ride in this park. Oh, yeah. I feel like really stupid when I did my top 25. Like I completely forgot about this ride. That was, that's it, it deserves a place up it, no, there. No, and it definitely is. I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. It's, it's so good. Like, Second drop, the airtime at the end of the ride. That yep. Crazy. Yep. Good airtime, great speed, uh, awesome views, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Phenomenal ride.
All right, so everyone talks about the potato patch fries here at Kennywood, but the real secret here is to get some of this popcorn. This is the extra butter popcorn, and it smells amazing and it tastes amazing. You can get it here by Thunderbolt. Highly recommend. Exterminator? I barely know her. Ooh, secret tunnel. Ready to go exterminate some rats? Is it, is it rats? I think it's rats. All right, so we just rode Exterminator, and even though each vehicle can seat four people, they will only load it with two people, and you can't sit them on one side. You have to sit one on each seat, or you ride by yourself. Yeah, maybe it's like coming towards like the end. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my vehicle, because I, I rode by myself because we're a group of three, so um, it, when it started spinning, it was making a lot of weird screeching sounds and, yeah. and things that you wouldn't normally hear with like a wild mouse, so, but I, it did spin a lot. It was a very clever ride, because like it's a wild mouse and like the exterminators are chasing yeah. you, and like, it's kind of scary in there. The one big room with the giant boiler was really cool. I had no idea this existed because of where it is apart. It is all the way in the oh. back, and it's like, if you don't know about it, it is so easy to miss. That is hot take. I think that's like definitely cooler than Laugh Track. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, darker and wilder, that's for <laughs> and sure. <mouthier. laughs> back again at Phantom. We did back row last time, so now we're gonna probably try it towards the front, and we acquired a second bag of popcorn, this one being caramel popcorn and Sarah will not stop eating it. I don't know how I've never noticed this, but this is literally a trash can. It's a tube that goes all the way down and deposits it down there. That's like actually like so fun and creative. <laughs> it's an elevated walkway. I'm gonna toss you down it. No. <laughs> my damn popcorn back. I will literally just, okay. Another lap there on Phantom's Revenge, this time towards the front, and that is a speed machine. Wow. Taylor whacked me. Yeah, it is true. My arms were in the air, and I, uh, on an airtime hill, I slammed down and knocked my elbow into his head. I'm okay, though. I'm okay. That's a great ride. <laughs> You're a phantom survivor. <laughs> that uh, was the revenge. That was the revenge. Yep. Also, right in front of us is Black Widow. It is a uh, frisbee that is not operational, and supposedly not operational for the entire year. Where I'm going with that? Uh, Just straight yeah. launch and put the straight up. Last ride of the day. It's the coaster at the front of the park. Skyrocket, and there is no one in line for it. And I'm an idiot, and I dead ass thought this was an intimate event nope. today. <laughs> I don't know how or why. And there we have it, our final ride of Kennywood. Skyrocket. See, now that I actually see the trains in my eye, that is an obvious that's a premiere because Premier hates humans. <laughs> they're not meant to fit in their trains. I don't know who they're building oh, for, but it's not people. <laughs> but it's a fun ride, except that it should definitely end after the uh, before the S bend. Thing. First half starts strong, second half oh is very underwhelming. Reese Doesn't in, do anything. Reese, doing so good. Reese almost puked. I'm trying not to puke. I love the launch. I like the first hill, but the, some of the turns and stuff at the end were just, I mean, yeah, that did me in for the I think you're too right? sensitive here. Look, it's the kind that has, where you have, there's, you can't do it from the top, so you have to puke like sideways. You have to stick your full head in there. It's so tight. The seats are so tight, the restraints. It's tough. That's a tough ride if you're nauseous. That ain't the one, I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> Be my guest. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Dang it. That would have been an epic end of the video. All right, that's it for our visit here to Kennywood. Reese, it was your first time. What'd you think? It's a really interesting park. I think so there's dry. parts of the park that feel like they're from the 70s, and then there's parts that feel like they're from the 90s, and then there's parts that feel like they're modern. You know, there's like areas that feel like the old Paramount parks, and then areas that feel like a really old, like classic theme park. And then there's parts that feel really new and fresh. So it's just interesting. It's, it's a mismatch. I've it really a, is. I've been to a lot of parks and this one is totally different from any one that I've been to before. I think that's fair. You I agree? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, it, it's a very cool place. I love the charm with it. Uh, the it park has a lot of personality and I just think that's really cool. And, and they have good rides. Not just roller coasters, but a lot of like classic stuff that you can't find at too many other places. Yeah, we did a bunch of stuff that was like not roller coasters. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. And we'll see you next time.